Hi, I'm George. We're going to be changing the background music here inside of Minecraft 118.1. And it's easy to do. You just need to set up a special resource pack for this and of course have your own music for that. We'll get this whole thing set up. Let's switch over to the desktop and we'll begin to work on setting up our new background music. To start off, we just need just a few things here. We need, of course, to have a place to build our pack in. And I have one here. I call it Packs and it's on my C drive. It doesn't matter where you put it or what you call it. This is just what I'm doing. We need, of course, have the music you want to use right here. You can replace every single song with a different song if you want to. I'll just be using one song to replace all of them to make this easy for this video. You may want to have your own pack PNG like I have right here. You don't have to have your own pack PNG. You can use one from the game, but I like having my own. It's easy. It's just a simple PNG file and mine's at 256 by 256. That's all that is. And of course, we need to have a pack MC meta file over here. Now, this is no longer included in the Minecraft 1.18.1 jar file. So you can either get this from an earlier version like 116.5 or earlier, or you can just download it from my website and I'll put a link for that in the description. And then finally, you need this file over here. You can download this from my website. Again, link for that in the description. This is a list of all the background music in 118.1. And there are two sections that we care about here. The first one is this section right here. And this is all your basic background music for survival, including all the new songs here for 118.1. And then right down here, in case you're playing in creative, you also want to have this section right here. There's also sections down here for end and nether and water and the menu. Now I have seen that the menu is currently playing stuff from survival. I don't know why, but that's what's happening. In any case, we'll be looking at just the survival stuff right in here. And I'll be replacing each one of these songs with that same song. So one song used for all of these, just to make it easy for the video. Let me show you where you can find this. I'll bring up my webpage for that. And it's right down here on the downloads page. Okay, let's go back to the desktop. And at the top right here in that list, this is the location, the folders that all of these have to be in to work inside the game. So you need to make this set and this goes inside of the assets folder actually. So we'll go over here. I'm just gonna set this right on top so you can see that. There it is. Let's now make this set. The first thing you need to have is an assets folder. So I'll click on new folder, just call it assets. Let's go inside of that, new folder. This one's Minecraft. There we go, inside of that one, new folder. This one sounds, there we go, inside of this one, new folder music, there it is, inside of this one, new folder, and game. Okay, we have our folders set up now, let's just back up a little bit here to our packs, there we go. So that's all set to go, and when we get this thing finished, it's going to be going inside of that folder. I'm going to put this one right here, and let's just put this list over to the side so we can keep our eyes on that. And the next thing we need to do is to convert this into a .ogg or .og file format. And I like using Audacity. Now you can't just rename it .og. That's not going to work. It has to be converted. So I'll bring up Audacity and let's go ahead and get that conversion taken care of. There we go. I'm currently in Audacity 3.1.3. And the easy way to bring files in here is just to bring up the folder with the file and drag and drop. So I'll bring up that folder. There we go. And then I'll just drag it over here and drop it on. And there it is. There's that new sound file. Let's go ahead and play this so you can hear what the sounds like. Let me play just the beginning part of it. So there's a pretty nice sound to that, pretty easy to see. We don't need to worry about stereo or mono. I'll leave this in stereo and let's just convert it to OGG format. So file, come down to export right here and export as OGG and make sure you're in the right location, packs and assets, that's fine. And then go into assets, Minecraft, sounds, music and game and it goes right here. Choose save, choose okay, let it convert that and that's done. We're finished with Audacity. We can now go back to our working folder. I'll just get this out of the way. Not going to bother saving that. And let's double check. So assets, Minecraft, sounds, music, game, and there we go. Let's change the view here, make it easier to see. I'll just change the view here to large icons. Okay, now we need to have one sound file for every single one of these files over here. I'll just do the first couple of those, then I'll do the rest off camera. So the easy way is to go over here and select the name like that. Right click, copy. Go over here, select this name, right click and paste. That's the first one. Now use control C to copy and then control V to paste. Gives me a copy of it right here. Let's come down to the next one and I'll just select that. Control C, copy, click into the name and control V to paste. That's my second copy. And just keep on doing that until you have copies for all of these and you have them all over here. Okay, I'm going to pause the video just for a second and I'll finish that whole list right here. 
then I'll bring the video right back up again. There we go. There's everything for survival. Now all of mine have this traffic cone icon on them. That's just because I use the VLC media player. If you're using a different media player, you'll have a different icon. So don't worry about that icon. Now I also want to change the music for creative just in case. So for that, we need a new folder inside of here. And we need to come down over on our list down to the creative section, which is right down here. We just need a new folder for creative and then six copies of that. So we'll set that up. So I'm in the game, that's correct. Let's do a new folder right here. This one's gonna be creative. There we go. I need one of these. I'll just take it over here. Control C to copy. Let's go inside of here. Control V to paste. And let's change our view back to large icons. Okay, first one here is going to be creative one. I'll just grab that copy and then come over here and change that. Control V to paste. And I'll quickly do the rest of these. There we go, creative is done, survival is all done, so all of our music is in place. Let's just now back up to our packs folder right here. Okay, last thing to do is that we need to edit the pack MC meta file. Now I like to edit these inside of a free program called Notepad++. It's a great code editor. So I'll just bring this up in that. There we go. I already have mine named background music, which is fine. And the pack format needs to be at eight. So if you don't have that, just double check that. Okay, we now can zip this up into a new resource pack. And you want just these first three things right there. Don't include that, no need for that. So we'll take these and we'll zip these up. Now I'm in Windows 11 right now, so it's a right click and compress to zip file. And let's go ahead and do that zip. And then I'll just give it a name here, call it background music. There we go, that's all set to go. If you're using Windows 10, then you go up to the tabs, click on the share tab, click on zip right there, and then same thing. Okay, let's now get this into the game. And for that, we need to bring up the launcher. There we go. Go up to installations. And then right over here, click on that folder. You can click on any of these folders. They all go to the exact same place. So I'll click on that one. And this brings up the Minecraft folder, your game folder. And then come down to resource packs, go into resource packs. And we need to put that zip file right inside here. So I'll put this over here. Let's bring back up this folder here. And I'll just drag and drop just like that into that location. Okay, it's now in the game. All we have left to do is to activate it and test it. So let's get this out of the way and get that out of the way and that out of the way. And I'll play the game. There we go in 118.1, let the game load in. We only have to go as far as the title screen to activate this, so we'll do that. And it's loading in right now. And there's my custom title screen. For more information about how I did this, there's some video links for that in the description. Come down here to options. Go into resource packs and you should see it left hand side there go background music just click on that you see it on the right hand side that's now activated choose done let that load in that new resource pack and make sure that my music is up okay music is up that's good everything's fine choose done choose done again and let's go into the game and see what the sounds like there we go now the song that plays from that list is picked at random. We did the same song for every single spot, so I'll be hearing that exact same song right now. And that worked out perfectly. So there you go. That's how you can change your background music instead of Minecraft 1.18.1. And I'll see you next time.